Hi guys, uh, I did actually straighten my hair, it looks a bit okay, I think I do like it the way it is, so yeah, it's just like curls and that, but anyway, and I can still put it in little mini pigtails, so I'm going to leave it grow and it's going to be the same length all the way around, so yes, um, apparently I'm in bed, oh. Seriously, um, I haven't vlogged today. Um, hang on. Sorry, guys. I haven't vlogged today because tonight I'm in a lot of pain. We've been busy today, of course. Even out in the garden and cleaning the hatch of the rabbit. Um, I think I'll have to do a footage of me doing that anyway. The rabbit goes out in the garden quite a lot now, so like we've got a big garden and it's closed in. Um, and the, gar the snowy goes around everywhere. I mean, she loves the grass and everything. Um, so yeah, I'm sat in bed in pain. Um, where is it? I have got this cream, guys. I can't find the deep heat. Shame, I think Leighton's got it somewhere. But meaning, you know, I need to put deep heat on my knees. This is not what good. It is two points, it's mild. But the deep heat is more effective. Um, but yeah, Leighton's coming up. I'll say bye bye. Oh, I think I say me. But Leighton is due to come up. So what I'll say is um, thank, thank you for watching our vlogs. That's what I'll say tonight. Tomorrow is Saturday the 11th of April although that they got this week off for next week I didn't actually overload them with homeschooling this week or next week um, meaning they can have some fun or play with toys or something you know something that would actually um, get them interactive with like colouring in or something because Tom still loves colouring in um, so yeah, they got a nice surprise tomorrow, I'm going to film most of the day tomorrow, and I think in the evening, I think it's the evening, I'll double check the time, basically they have, well if I log in to my Facebook, i got a Facebook account, I can then, um, Basically, with Gaten, they are online. So that's what we are going to do tomorrow. Um, and I'm going to show you the Easter baskets while I'm filming tomorrow. So what I'm going to say is, thank you so much for watching our vlogs, guys. We will catch you tomorrow. Stay safe. And we'll get through this. Seriously. So, yeah. I may pull out my trampoline to do exercises tomorrow. So, I need to start actually doing a bit more exercises. I mean, different ones. We'll see anyway. So, thank you for watching. I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye guys. Ooh. Guys, uh, my hair's a little bit of a mess. I woke up just now, so basically it's Saturday the eleventh of April. So yeah, I'm feeling a little bit rough, but that's okay. It's a bit hot. Um. 
think it was like a close this morning. I slept well, so that's good. And I'm wearing blue t-shirt and tracksy bottoms, if you can see. Um, so yeah, uh, that's what I'm going to wear today. Um, apparently, I was in a lot of pain with my left knee. Uh, that's some, I think it's like a bonus degrading or something, or I don't know what you call it anyway, but it was so painful last night. I had to put a gel on my knee last night, which I did. So today at 10 o'clock is going to be a cookery class and I'm going to film that basically what it is. Um... I won't try to film with my other camera, of course, as it's quite hard. So I need to actually watch the vlog. It's on. It's on Facebook. It's a cookery class for children. So they're gonna do egg muffins today. So it's gonna be really nice to use some eggs up. And yeah, I'm going to prep the veg and everything ready and cut the bacon and that. So. Follow us on this journey today and see, you know, we're not going away today. I'm going to order for Castle Howell, uh, if you know what that means. It's a delivery system thing. And I've been trying to look in shops everywhere yesterday for flour and I couldn't. So I was a bit fed up. So, yeah, we are going to order flour from Castle Howell. And if anybody is in difficulty needs of ordering in the shops there's a chance that you can get it off a of castle howell so we're gonna order ours today and we'll get ours monday so looking forward to that because i need to do some chocolate hot cross buns for amy uh, i haven't done them yesterday of course i may have a hot cross bun and cheeky one this morning so yeah why not happy easter everyone and stay safe. Hi guys, I've got pigtails a little bit. They're quite funny, but yeah, I managed to. Um, so, we have gone out for a family walk to the local shopper, and then we can go back home because um, my husband wanted something in the shop. We checked the bottle bank, and yes, it's nearly empty, so we're gonna actually put some jars in the bottle bank later to get rid of them. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna do. I think I'll make some rice crispy cakes, so watch me later on and making them. Uh, and we're gonna have carrot and coriander soup later with some butter bread, so that would be nice. So, yeah. And then fish dinner later on, hopefully, tonight. So, keep watching, guys. Thank you for watching and stay safe. Guys, I've had Amy's bike. I've been riding it, but it's too low for me. So, yeah. They're behind me somewhere. There they are. So if you can see, there they are. So, yeah, it's very warm, guys. I may pull out the pool a little bit after for the kids to play into. So, yeah, the park is still shut, guys. Shame, ma. But there we go. Um, yeah, we're going back home, and I think Abby's going to take some glass down the glass bank I'm not gonna check them over of course but yeah we'll catch you back at the house guys here are the easter gardens that the kids are making um so they got a bit of each you got stickers i don't want to they got characters and yeah they picked it your own so that's a grass for the garden. And what are you doing? You're doing that, yeah? Cool. You're doing okay? She needs 
Peter Hand? Yeah. Okay. Come back after when they finished their gardens. There we go, here's Amy so far in the garden. It's happy Easter day, one done. Two rabbits there, one's falling on, but she'll do that. And the chick there. She's very decorated quite well actually. Possibly you can glue them and keep it in your bedroom, see ya. Yeah? How about that? Yeah? Until Easter goes. I don't want this one. So here's Thomas's. I helped him to the sign of a happy Easter. But that's all you're going to do? No, he's going to do some mm. more into you. No, yeah? I mean, Can you put this on? Yes, I will do. And then I'll uh, help you then, yeah? Oh. Hi guys. We had a bit of fun today. We watched Gaten live on YouTube. Uh, it's our local campsite, but they closed anyway. So, um, I am going to show you the children's finished gardens. So, here it goes, guys. And you can choose which garden you like the most. Um, we're going to decide tonight because tomorrow is Easter Monday. Uh, not Easter Sunday, I should say. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it's Easter Sunday tomorrow and yeah, these gardens are beautiful the way they've done it. So I'll show you. So here's Amy's. She's got this like little corner for the gate and it says Happy Easter. Um, the two big sort of like egg peoples are there with the little chick and you go around. Make sure you complete. So yeah, I don't want to ruin it. I'm going to take it up in the bedroom in a minute. So she's put a grass around here. Well, I tried to tidy up, of course, because I'm helping her. So she's got a rabbit there and some eggs and a butterfly on the cocktail sticks. So that's really nice. And um, a ladybird. Uh, there's a mushroom here, there's a chick with some flowers and come this way then, it's two bunnies. So, in fact, I think Amy is the winner. I like the happy birthday, ha uh, happy Easter down there. So yeah, it's looking quite cool. And this is Thomas's garden. Um, did help him a little bit to decorate. He's done a mushroom on the gate there. And a few other decorations. A chick and a butterfly. Uh, no, not a butterfly. A ladybird. Um, coming into the garden now, so go this way, is a happy Easter. Then... He's put in grass there. So I decorated a little bit of the grass and then he done the eggs and this on the fence. So those are quite cute. There's also a little sheep there. So, you know, basically it's like an Easter sheep. I think it's in the egg or something. So when, you, when we come around, you got these on the fence. They nice characters, by the way. So that's who he's chosen. And he's chosen these. So basically, they're all in line. They're lining up. And then we actually 
They're not going to ruin his too because he's a softer than Amy's a little bit, but they chose the flooring, so this one's a bunny and that one's in the Easter basket, so basically I think they're all in line. And we got two, it looks like a mum and a dad, so we call him mum and a dad anyway. And they both here yeah, looking at the children lining up, so yeah. Really nice layout actually, so I'm going to leave those there for the Easter Bunny to mark them out, but which garden do you like the most? Do you like Thomas's, which is this one, or Amy's? So yeah, have a look at that guys. I remember that I've done the full layout of the garden, so... Thank you for watching!